Hey what's up YouTube's David here today I wanted to show you a new tutorial and this is if you have a PS Pico or PSP 3000 on version 637 or if you do not feel like having or feel like hacking your PSP or buying a Pandora battery downgrading or putting custom firmware on it or whatever and you want to play Super Nintendo this is for you this is from PSP custom firmware .com and it it was released quite a while ago but um I just got a hold of it and this is a SNES emulator SNES on your PSP so download link will be put down below in the description you can download ROMs from doperoms.com put a link for that too anyway drag out the SNES emulator out of the RAR file then connect your PSP into USB mode go into the PSP folder then go into game and drag it into your game folder next go into the emulator on your PSP then go into ROMs and this is where you need to download the ROMs like I said doprums.com I already have some on my um, computer already. Drag your ROM into the ROMs folder. And I will see you at the PSP. Okay, before we get go any farther, I would like to apologize for the bad lighting, but whatever, let's just keep going. Okay, so... Here is just a demonstration that this PSP does in fact have um, official firmware in version 637. Now, here is the emulator. I have not ran the emulator prior um, to this video, so um, here goes nothing. Okay, so it boots up. It's a good sign. Okay, sorry I had to cut the video out, but, um, this thing is kind of stupid when it comes to the ROMs, but I figured it out. Um, when you go into it, it'll say it's supposedly in the ROMs folder, but press triangle onto your, the very top, then go into PSP, press circle, go down to game, press circle, SNES, circle, and then go into the ROMs folder. Then you should see your ROM pop up. Okay. So start it up with circle. It works. Holy crap, it's slow. Let's see. Okay, I'm sorry I had to cut the video off again, but um, I have found out how you switch this. You um, press up, frame skip. Apparently frame skip 2 runs at good, good speed. And to go into the menu, options menu, it's um, left on the joystick. And here you have all your options. Um, frame skip, options, screen size, let me just make that full screen. And press X to go back. Um. Yeah. Other than that, this is pretty much it. It works pretty good. Um. You can switch what controls to what. Go back in the menu and press Start and Select to exit out the emulator. All right. Well, sorry for cutting the video so much, but this is my first time using it myself. Probably should have used it ahead of time to save some time on here but um oh well well thank you for watching this video please thumbs up like comment and subscribe